In this problem, we're trying to figure out which one of the absolute value inequalities is equal to the number line, represents the number line. So it would be all the numbers x in between a negative 5 and 3. Well, an absolute value, let's look at this first one. Absolute value of x is less than or equal to 3. Now, what number could you plug in here that would work, that would give this a true statement? Well, if you let x be 3, 3 is less than or equal to 3. 2 would work. 1 would work. What about 0? Absolute value of 0 is 0, so that would work. What about negative 1? Absolute value of a negative 1 is 1. 1 is less than or equal to 3. So if what's in the absolute value bars, if it's, let me erase that, if x is in between a 3 or a negative 3, that would be true. But that's not what's shaded it on the number line. You've got from negative 5 down to 3. Now, so A doesn't work. B won't work either because that's going to be from negative 5 up to positive 5. Let's look at C. If x minus 2 is in between a 3 or a negative 3, well, that's going to give me a 5 up here because you're going to get x in the middle by itself. But it's going to give me a negative 1 down there. So that's not doesn't work. Let's look at E. If x plus 1, if it's in between a 4 or a negative 4, so let's subtract 1 from everything, both ends and the middle, and you're left with x is less than or equal to 4 minus 1, it's 3, and negative 4 minus 1 is a negative 5, and that's what's shaded on the number line. So the answer would be E.